tonight's show is going to be slightly different because we're out. We're not in the studio. We're not at home, <laughs> which is also the studio, to do the normal sort of Sunday share. We thought we'd come out, get some fresh air, some wobbly video footage of us wandering around somewhere. But tonight's going to be a little bit different because, let me hold that away a little bit. We're both going to be on screen at the same time, but we're both going to be on different screens. So in a moment, when people decide to join the feed, <laughs> I, can, I'm, I can only assume that people are there at the moment. So if you are there, drop a little comment. Oh, sorry about my hand. You might have noticed and start to figure out where I am. Let me turn the camera around a little bit. Gravestones. Some more gravestones. Right, let's do it. Let's see if this works. Yay, you're there. can't hear you need to turn nope I've got no sound is your mic on or Oh, that's acting really weird. Okay. Uh, a bit of a technical issue there. We are live. So, give me two seconds. Right. We kicked Penny off the feed. You can't get it right. I don't know what's going on there. So, I'll go for a walk up. If you're there and you're watching, uh, just drop us a little thumbs up or a like and share. Just so we know you're there more than anything else. Also, I need you guys to keep your eyes peeled. See if you see anything in the background um i'm not sure um it was your microphone on your phone we couldn't hear i couldn't hear you on it where's your mic in relation to that clasp that's holding the phone there sorry bit of technical support <laughs> right i'm gonna add you back Yeah, but they can see where you are. And if I come up to you now, <laughs> we are in exactly the same place. I don't know why we can't hear you. I think maybe the microphone's covered by one of those pads. Okay. But, so but then I would have thought, I don't know how Samsung's work. <laughs> right. But anyway, all of that aside, yeah, we're getting some love height. Danny Cooper's here. Hey, guys. Can you guys hear Penny? We, I can't hear Penny through the feed. I can only hear Penny through real life. I don't know. Can anybody hear? Because if, if that's not working, then we'll go back to one screen. Otherwise, there's no point. And I can't see comments. Have you muted me in the settings in there? Mm -hmm. Nope, I don't know. Ah, right. That's not good. Um, right, I'm going to remove you from it. <laughs> Just like kicking Penny off the feed. How good's that? Right. Slide them out and see what I can do. Yeah, see if you can change your phone around a little bit. Anyway, we are out on location and we are in a church graveyard. And we know that the difference between a church graveyard and the cemetery is there's a church present if it's a churchyard then it's a graveyard that's how it's i remembered it where's well, a church it's a graveyard yes if there's no church it's a cemetery a cemetery that's it so yeah so we've come over to one not too far from us about 20 minutes from us near corby um i realized with this i can't actually turn the feed around so i'm just going to come in this front door so you can see where we are 
don't know if you guys will be able to read that. Um, I don't know if it's the right way around or not. So we have D, Peter Dean. What's the name of the church gone? St. Peter's. Is it St. Peter's? St. Peter's of Dean. Penny did the research on the church for us. I did, but you <laughs> right. can't hear it. No, all right, so join me now. We can, they can hear you now because they okay. hear you through my mic. So where are we, Penny? Hi, everybody. We're in Dean, which is just outside of Corby, and we're at St. Peter's Church, which is linked to the Brudenell family. Shall I say more? Yeah, a little bit more. Go on. Okay. So the church originates in the um, 12th century with some... Um, alterations made in the 13th century. Uh, as I said, it's linked to the Brudenell family that live in the big house there. Yep, that side. And um, in there was the, as part of the family, was the seventh Earl of Cardigan, who led the charge of the Light Brigade. Mm -hmm. And he and his wife are in a tomb in the south side of the church. But we can't get inside. We're not even going to try. No, no, we're not going inside. Let's not try. All we're going to do is we're going to have a mill about. As you know, with, with cemeteries and grave sites, there tends to be some energy. I generally find it's quite relaxed, peaceful. Um, I've never really come across anything bad in a cemetery. Um, but we're going to take a wander around here. Um, the microphone again because I might have fixed it. Excellent. Yeah, the cool. Oh, we have got some comments. Bear with me two seconds if you see my thumb at this point. Um, so, yeah, people confirming that they can't. <laughs> Danny Cooper said she could read your lips. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Lip reading. Right. I'm going to go for a little wand around and I'll add a penny to it and see if it works. Oh, so bossy. Oh, you hear that? What can you hear? I can hear like, like rumbling, like you're touching it. Can hear you. Put me backstage or something. No, no there we go. Me? Yay, we're both on. And we can hear us both. Right. We're both going to go off in two different directions. Okay. And if either of us get a sense of anything or drawn to anything, then we'll we'll speak up. If you guys see anything, um, or you want us to go a particular place, or you see something you want, oh, let's have a quote, closer look at that, then by all means, get in touch. On the comments, I can see uh, Marion saying, hi, you're late. No worries, Marion. We're out, because it's such a lovely evening. We've come out, right, let's, let's go for a proper wander through and sort of see what we can do. I'll hold this a little bit further away from me so we can see what's going on. I'll tell you what, that is one massive bush. Sorry, focus. Inappropriate. I apologise so, for him. I'm so easily distracted. But I'll tell, tell you what you this church has it's got. Fair. It's got peculiar positioning for graves in this site, and this is something I've noticed in a few older sites where we've actually got stones all the way around in a square or three quarters of a square that then leads down these two rows here which i find odd that so many people are in one spot that don't seem to be overly massively related none of the stones are similar they you might find similar. that they're not actually there that they're moved stones Right, okay, so they've relocated the stones. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an odd configuration. I've not really seen that before. Um, the other thing I like about this church is the stained glass, which I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to without being disrespectful. I want to make sure I'm behind the grave. I don't know if you guys can see it on there, but it is a really cool depiction um, of what I'm assuming is Jesus hanging in the centre um, in his crucified position. On that note, I've always thought that was a little bit odd. 
to remember him in such a way. Um, not knocking Christianity for that, it's their depiction. Um, but sometimes it's it's designed to remind us of suffering and what he went through. So I just kind of thought I'd add that to it. But I always thought that was a little bit weird. <clears throat> so what so are you getting, Penny? The um, explanation about the church. I think everybody caught it. They were there. Um, you can hear the just bird. Look, I'm just looking up to the road. There's somebody parked at the top. <laughs> yeah, I think there's somebody um, walking along the field behind me. All oh, right, okay. This could be one of those moments where we live stream get kicked out of a place. That would be amazing. It wouldn't it be yeah, bloody awkward no, to be honest? The historical places um, were closed. Whether uh, a graveyard counts as somewhere that shouldn't be accessed. Yeah. Who knows? Right. I'm being drawn down to here. Um, which let me show you guys. There's some really leery birds around here. There are. Uh, I mean, like the ones singing in the trees is what I mean. Actually, I don't know if anybody can see. There's a memorial in the field behind where we are. Where have we gone? <laughs> Penny's got lost. I have got lost. I'm going to try and show you some of these while Penny's doing that. That is my idea of a gravestone. That's what kind of gravestone I want when I'm buried. One that's already at a jaunty angle. <laughs> it's already got some bits on it. Now, I don't know how you get a second-hand gravestone. Obviously, I <laughs> pass. I don't know how that works, or even if it does work, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, there is some really cool ones. I'm trying to find like this one here. This is the corner I was drawn to right at the beginning um, because it's this sort of a grave, which in any decade is an extravagant grave. It's a lot of stone, a lot of stone masonry work. So it was expensive even even then. If you had something like that now, it would be expensive. I am picking so, stuff up here and I have bought my dowsing rods as well to have a go okay. with um, in a bit. But as I've said before, it, it's quite rare to pick up on energy within a graveyard it's not generally where spirits congregate because no. what is buried here is just the shell i was trying to i was looking in this bit here it's kind of it's all overgrown and it's linked to a couple called john and sarah russell just again it seemed seems odd that that patch is the bit that's not cut the only thing I can think of as to why they've done that is because there looks like there's some rabbit holes down there. Um, so I'm wondering if they've perhaps, the lawnmower might drive into the rabbit hole. <laughs> That's why they've left it. Maybe so. Some of these I've got so much, um, is it lichen? Yeah. On them. Lichen? Lichen? No, lichen. You were right. Um, that you wouldn't be able to tell what was on there. Nowadays, you're not... Um, when I was a kid, you used to go to uh, cemeteries and do grave rubbings. Yeah, I did as a kid. But, I remember doing that. You know, they discourage it now because it damages... Hi! <laughs> Hi. Well, they did it in Hinkley because there's a pirate burial grave. There's an yeah, actual pirate apparently buried in Hinkley. How that's possible, I don't know, considering it's one of the furthest places from the sea. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to come inside for a second and have a drink of coffee. It's not coffee and coaching. You're not allowed to have a drink now. Yeah, I'm going to have a cigarette as well. Or they want to uh, ask anything. I don't actually know any more than I told you, and I'm amazed that I remembered that much. Well, that's, if you want, we don't you... tend to do the research, though. No, that is true. 
and we don't do the research. Oh, the tiniest, tiniest. Oh, you won't be able to see it, but I really want to show you. Well, tell me when you can see it. Can you see movement? The little frog. Yeah. <laughs> we found life in a graveyard. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, cutest, cutest little thing. I just saw it. You're lucky I didn't squish you. I don't know where you're going. There's no water here. It's all the way over there. You little cutie. Um, yeah, if anybody's got any um, questions, ask. But no, we don't generally tend to research anywhere that we go. But usually... No. Uh, if you're going with a team that have techs and researchy people, swap sides. I don't want to cross the streams. <laughs> um, yeah, they do the research for you. Um, and then I just give out whatever information comes through to me from whoever gives me That's information. A cool shot. And then I forget. Yeah, this is actually a church with a, do they call him a, they call a steeple, isn't it? Spire. Spire. I knew I was being a bit thick there. Yeah, I noticed it when we came in, it's got a big cock on the top of it. Oh. Sorry, rooster. Luckily, I'm nowhere near him, so if anybody overheard that. Yeah, it's got yeah. a rooster. Both words are right. But yeah, I'm going to go around the back of the church. That's where I'm going. Oh, I'm excellent. going in the opposite direction, so we'll meet in the middle. I always like it's the grandiose a, nature of a church. How you, um, filter through this program? What kind of filter? What, like a filter for me? It makes you look young and slender, glamorous. Is that what people are watching it for, babe? Oh, clearly not, because they've yeah, tuned in. you guys can see those. Matter. Some cool gargoyle things on the top there. What I was about to tell you, I've always liked the style, the design of a church. Um, it's that gothic style, but it's also the aspects. And there's a, three crosses that we're coming over to now that will kind of make my point. It's when Christianity came in and when paganism kind of went out a little bit and was out of fashion. Things like that, round windows, using gargoyles and things as protect off as protection for a building i think that's pretty much stolen the other aspect is i don't know what people know about crosses and crucifixes and how they've kind of changed over time i thought i heard something then might have been some of the sheep. The sheep in the, in the field next to us. Right, what I was going to say is crosses like that one there, if I get a little bit closer, that are clearly a cross, but there's also a circle in there. Um, I would urge you to, you know, if that's the sort of thing that interests you and style and design and things to do with early religion and how it's grown and changed and adapted, have a look into um the significance of the circle because there's another one another one there and another one there so there's two more in here just on this corner um there's another one over there i feel like hail and pace now there's one there's another one and there is there is a significance and it links to not just early relig religion it also links to um things to do with the zodiac and astrology so there's quite a lot of links when it's when you think the, the crucifix or the cross is predominantly seen as a Christian symbol. So anyway, over to you, Penny. How's things going in your end of the gravesite? What I was going to say, but you were rambling quite a bit. Sorry, I'm so used to having one of these feeds on my own. <laughs> uh, no, well, what? I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have my cigarette. All right, maybe shush. Right, I'll try again. What's different is that there's no uniformity and generally in a graveyard, because it's linked to the church, there tends to be 
more crosses and it tends to be more uniform in how the uh, graves are laid out and the style of the stone. I think as right. time's gone on, that's changed and, and people have stopped conforming with what um, the church wants and have become much more individual in what they have. So if you go to cemeteries, you tend to find them all hodgepodge and different shapes and sizes with um, huge guardian angels watching over and huge tombs rather than the, the basic headstone shape or cross. Right, okay. So that's when it starts to move on to kind of more basic looking ones like that. Yes. So it's more, more of a declaration to rem remember the person's here than a statement of religion. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's it's something good. so symbolic. It's a signpost. So you know where to come to pay your respects. But obviously the church is always at the forefront because you're on church ground or consecrated ground. Sorry, I was just reading this. One, um, the earliest person here was 1925. And then her husband so, goes, so joins far, them in 1932. So far that you've found, but there's quite a large area. As you said, there's quite a lot of molehills. Oh, be, they'll be older rabbit. than 1925 in here easily. Absolutely, because the, the church dates from... Um, so the 15th century, yeah, and the then 15th century, it, yeah, it, it was that's when it became most used, most utilized. Mm. Um, it was the 15th century, and it had a huge juge or, or a tidy up and lots of refurbishment refurb inside in the uh 1800s, mid 1800s. Uh -huh. Because you can see where new bits have been added. Um, yeah. You can tell with like the gargoyles as well. Although some of that would actually be wear dependent on the weather coming from different directions. So I'll give you that. I remember I was about to write that in the comments. As in this side. Around this tree. I don't know if this wet ground is particularly nice to walk on. Or whether I'm going to fall down a hole. It looks more like bits of the church that have fell off. <laughs> more than anything. Um, so, does anybody have any questions about anything? Oh, let me check. No. We monitoring. Are we all just in, enjoying a Sunday stroll through a graveyard? We have. We've got, it says there's a few people watching. We've got some people that have been laughing, which I'm assuming was my comment about the steeple. Well, which is that there? I won't repeat like what's on the top of it. Songs of praise. <laughs> feel, feel free to join in with your hymns if anybody wants to join the stream. Just let us know. Oh, yeah, good point. Because people can now, so if anybody knows anything That's about true. the history, they absolutely can. Um, I, always think, I always think that's pretty sad when you see a gravestone's fell over. I always want to pick it back up, but I know that I'm not supposed to. I'm not allowed to. If I'm at um, a grave now that's 19... No, 1866. 1846 and 1866. Um, husband and wife. What's that, 1846? Yeah. Oh, challenge is on now, folks. I've got to try and find a, an older one than that. Oh, I'm being eyeballed by the sheep. <laughs> ah, am you. That'll do, pig. <laughs> I've been let out. I feel a little bit hyper, I've got to be honest. Well, stop that. I mean, I right. imagine that it's a lot more atmospheric in here because 
the layout of the stones is so um, higgledy piggledy. Oh, what was the um, age of that one you found? 1846. Oh, bugger. I've got 1894. So close. I nearly shouted house. It's not bingo. It's, Can uh, I just claim that these ones that have got so much moss and stuff on, they must be older. <laughs> 1794. I'll give over. Let's see if I can. Anybody get else? It on Penny's just making these up. On camera. <laughs> can anybody else read that? That's a, that's a full slate one as well. Sorry, folks. I'd realised I was so close to the camera there. That was disgraceful. <laughs> Because I was trying to look at the little screen that Penny was using. <laughs> Sorry. It was a view of his nostrils that you didn't expect of a Sunday. Everybody's put in the comments. So there's a face for radio. <laughs> and not even steeple. that. If I do, hang on, let me see if I can do it. Just there. Now there is a tiny cock on top of my head. Sorry. I am sorry. The voice has told me to do oh, it. And I'm not even to be fair, for him anymore. But what would be amazing is if Ali Jones walked in that upper gate now, singing a hymn. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I tell you why I'm a little bit hyper as well. Um, I didn't mention any of this to Penny before we come in, but before when no. we got here, before we started filming. When I came in, um, and it's why I did it earlier. I had a cigarette. And for anybody who is environmental, yes, I've picked it up, but it is biodegradable. But anyway, it's just a rolling. So just in case anybody gets on the high horse. Um, but yeah, as I lit the cigarette, I got the distinct feeling that somebody thought that was disrespectful. And it kind of is. I get that because it's a graveyard and it's a church. So I was walking this way and I'm going to kind of walk the same way. Well, it'll take me longer to walk there than to explain it. <laughs> so you can cut back to me in a minute. Have you found something older yet, Penny? No. There's quite a few over that bit. I'll go and have a look. Sorry, there was a unnecessary shot there of, of my chest that nobody needed. We're going to cross the streams. No. I don't know what that would have looked like at your party. end, guys. Past each other, it would have looked like we was doing a cool movie effect. <laughs> but so, this, yeah, I was like, I lit my cigarette. Sorry, I'm going to come back to my story now. And this is the where I was walking. I was walking down this road here, this little pathway here, which leads to a gate um, out to a lake. And like I said, as I was smoking, I kept thinking that it's being watched, kind of like. You shouldn't be smoking that in here. And I kept thinking, yeah, no, I'm going to the gate and I'll finish it there and I'll put it out over there. Ooh. As I did that, I'll turn this camera around and hope you guys can see it. There's a sign on the gate. As we walk towards it, you'll notice it says no fishing. It wasn't until I got to here that it said no fishing. Until this point... As I was walking towards it, it said no smoking. Ooh. And as I'm looking at it thinking, why would they put a no smoking sign on the, that, with the wrong side of the gate? Thinking you'd put it on the outside of the gate for people coming in, not the inside of the gate for people going out. And then my brain went, oh, it doesn't say not smoking, it says no fishing. And I think personally, I'm 100% certain that that was, I was being manipulated by something in here. And that's why I lit the other cigarette earlier. And I got the same feeling, but I didn't get, <laughs> didn't give me no signs to quit smoking. It was more for me to confirm that there is an energy in here that likes to maintain that respect. And I get that. I understand that. Um, but I needed to have a little play around with the energy just to be able to <laughs> feel it. So, Penny, where are you? It looks like you've disappeared over a wall. What are you doing? I'm between the tombs. Oh. I'm between the tombs. I'll just call you Lara Croft. I wish. <laughs> no, I don't. Jesus. Um, where is that? 1872. 
right, you're looking at the gravestones where I've already been, so I'm claiming those ones. <laughs> <laughs> I've given up looking for them. I'm not looking for gravestones now. I'm going to find somewhere quiet. Nobody um, likes the bad loser. I'm going to go into the scary dark bit. I want to go and sit in the gateway and I'm going to put my hands on the walls. And this is where we'll do, I'll see if I can do a bit of psychometry. Do you want me to remove you off the feed? Say again. No, I'm going to come back and get my dowsing rods. That's what I was going to say. Let me, if I remove you off, if you set a camera up and then do some dowsing, um, Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind seeing that. Uh, Let me have a quick look at the comments. Marion confirmed with you. Yes, Alid Jones coming through the gate would be hilarious. It would. It would be bloody amazing. But, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of my psychometry now, and I think I'm going to do it at the front door. Give me a sec. I'm going to remove Penny from the feed. Da-da-da. It's just my show now. It's all me. Yeah, psychometry is about me reading (laughs) reading energy and it's residual energy and any building like this is always going to have lots and lots of residual energy because there is lots and lots of emotive things will happen in an environment like this the also the other reason why it's so good is it's such good stone massive stones and as far as I'm concerned, the stone, the natural stone, the natural wood that creates the, the ceiling in here, and that will carry on throughout, it's going to have the ability to hold on to energy, especially from us, from just human beings. We're always giving off emotions and doing stuff. <clears throat> okay. First things first. layout I know we've got kind of stones stone pathways that go like that but the only one that feels right that one feels private feels like a personal path this one feels like the one that would have been used by more people classic energy point here is the gratitude point um, which I always pick up in churches and memorial halls as well are another one for this where you always have this moment here where photographs are taken or thanks are given to ministers and parishes for what they've done for communities it's always at this point so they'll meet the the minister or uh, I'm not sure what they're all called But yeah, this, we already know this church is old. It's got quite a young, I was picked up, there was a load of kid energy, which again would be quite common for this environment. It was like kids, Sunday school kids kind of that running through. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you why it feels that felt weird is because in my brain I thought no kids would have had to have stopped they would have had to have got to this point that had been queued up in theory to go in but it didn't feel like that it felt like they were running in um, but I could be picking up on a Sunday school group that happened, <laughs> that happened quite recently it doesn't have to be summer old just that feeling of children being excited and running in Now, let me change locations now. I'm going to stick close to it, though, because I want to read it. Um, other things that will stand out, I mean, these stand out to me visually, not just by reading the energy of it. If you guys can see, there's a difference in the stones there and there, and that follows through there. So I've never looked at, I've not looked at the actual in-depth history of this place, but one could speculate that those stones and those stones being different, something's happened here. 
because the stones start to change as they go up the tower as well. So it's not just a case of reading the energy, it's also about being observant. So we can tell something changed there. I don't think that actually leads anywhere. I think it's just a vent hole. I want it to be nosy. I'm just keeping an eye on Penny. When Penny gives me a thumbs up, we'll, we'll cut to Penny for a bit. That private entrance. When I said earlier, it felt like a private entrance here. And the reason for that, it was, isn't, wasn't all to do with psychometry. It's because the big house is over there. So they wouldn't have probably walked around to get to it. They'd have probably come this way. But it's why it felt like a more private entrance. And then there is another door here. But that privacy aspect could have, could be that the old minister used to live here. So that could be that. Like I say, I've not been inside. Uh, so I don't know the layout of indoors. But again, that difference in stone follows through here as well. This stone feels it feels so much older than the stones on that other corner. But as to why, I don't know. I have no idea why. Could be some like I don't know, World War Two or something. Let me see. How are you getting on, Penny? Bless her, she's trying to balance her camera. I think I might make my way over there. Perhaps do it the other way. <clears throat> God, I'm asking her. I should grab my coffee while I was around at that door. Give me one a second. Yeah, I was just looking. Do you want me to? I'll hold your phone. You know, near the graves at um, 1309. Oh, Right, two seconds. Penny, take that back. Just run off and left it. Nobody can see your feed. Why do they want me? That'd be ridiculous. Right, I'll try and multitask now, film. Oh, Michael Shelley. Hi. I've um, just got your message. Yeah, yeah, you can see, see where we are out of that. I didn't want to be in. Oh, I keep getting a feed echo off of Penny's phone. I 
and he's asking questions. If they're husband and wife. I need to explain to you what's happened and the conversations we've had afterwards. <clears throat> but currently, she's talking to a male on the left and a female on the right, which I'm assuming are a couple. It'd be interesting if anybody's seen anything on the camera, that would be good. His camera makes it look so much scarier than mine does. Mom's going dead. Sounds like Penny's being kicked out by by the spirit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a really cool tree, just there. Right, I'm gonna change feeds. Said, once I'm going to move away from Penny's phone. Once Penny's had her conversation with <clears throat> whoever it is that she's talking to at the moment, um, I'll get her to come over and explain to you kind of in a bit more detail of what was what was said. I suppose. <coughs> I'm going to move away. I'm going to get my coffee. That's what I need. So yeah, hi, uh, Michael. I've forgotten the name of the church or uh, Dean's church. Um, it's so on the Dean Estate. Um, and from what Penny's got, sort of little research we did, because we figured you guys would ask, <laughs> um, it kind of dates back to about the 15th or 12th century or something. Um, but Penny knew more about it at the beginning. Just, but yeah, we just felt we needed to go out and get some fresh air and sort of mix with some different energies for a change. Right, give me two seconds. Right, let me get Penny back in. Hello. Hey, Penny. Right. I was sort of giving people a brief idea. It felt like you had 
a male on your left and a female on your right or something like that. It was a couple you were talking to. It was. It was a married couple and they directed me to the house and were quite um, adamant that they wanted to go in. I'm still a bit breathless now. Um, I feel like um, I had a really confused feeling come in, but it felt physical. So it felt like potentially the lady had a brain aneurysm. And then it was like being stabbed in my side, something on my right side for the gentleman. Um, husband and wife, quite faint, quite difficult to pick up. Obviously, the emotive stuff um, and, and the feelings of potentially what they passed with was strong, um, but really hard to get a verbal connection. Um, felt really strong and I asked if they would show me something or let me hear something and I don't know if you heard it I heard a horse neigh really loudly and then the oh. sound like um, a clip clop of hooves on the ground do you know how they thud I heard yeah. that and I no, thought I didn't hear that that's interesting, because who is connected to here? The 7th Earl of Cardigan, who led the charge of the Light Brigade. Oh, I see. Me. Oh, right. So the link and potentially they, them horses. Are, they are both buried here. Their tomb is in the south side of the church. Oh, yeah. You said at the beginning, on the inside. Yeah. So ah. um, that might be worth doing a bit of research on. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Yeah, in the comments, Michael's put um, sort of went what was the location. I think he, he missed the sort of beginning bit. Um, Michael's now run out of things to say, and he just put the weather looks great. <laughs> Bless. The weather looks great, Michael. Come on, man. We could do better Here's comments it. than that, surely. <laughs> Interestingly, I'm going to show you what I found just before I wandered off to Dow's. I've got wet legs now. I'm now on the floor. Been a while since you had grass stained knees, I bet. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the date on well, there. What is it? I'm fairly certain it's 1309. Good gravy. Yeah. So, um, it might be wrong. What's the chances you... that we're being tricked by a piece of really old graffiti? <laughs> <laughs> I think quite high. We are fairly gullible. <laughs> I want to have a look at this one. Be this careful. is one of them. It's one of them interesting styles. Yeah, be careful because the ground around it is a little bit. Uh, there's lots of holes. Yeah. So yeah, like I said earlier, with my other ones, it doesn't matter what year that was done. That's an expensive grave. And uh, trying to get it in, not very good with the camera. It's got an indentation or a, a raised cross. Yeah, 1309. I'm almost certain it says 1309. Yeah. Um, but interestingly, I knew that I'd get a, a runny nose being outside. Um, it was right about the name, so I'm feeling good about that. So we do have, oops, I don't know if you can see, God, I'm rubbish at this, uh, one of the Brudenelles. And that's quite a recent grave, that's um, 2013. Yeah. So actually, you know, the ground is quite different. How do you mean quite different? Look, everywhere is lovely and flat. These are hugely not. <laughs> yeah, because it's not sunk. All graves sink, don't they? They do, and that's why you, like in movies, when they show them people going to the grave a week after and there's um, headstones already been put on, that doesn't happen. There's a good amount of time that passes. 
before you can put a headstone in because they sink and fall over. Mm. So, I've really enjoyed our little meander yeah. through here. It would help if I didn't feel unwell. The lovely communications came through and didn't give me their physical symptoms. That so there we go. We've got a better question from Michael. Okay. He's put, uh, is the house connected to the church or is it a ruin on no, still no, in it use? Is, it is connected to the house. Um, it is a historical site now, but it mm. is absolutely linked. Um, to the Dean family, isn't it? No, no. To the Brudenells. Brudenell family, that was it. Yeah. Um, intricately linked. Um, as, as far back as when it was first built, it is linked to the um, stately home. I think it's a stately home, isn't it? Yeah, because it was the Dean Estate. It's in. Yeah. Um, of which you can book and come and have tours here when everything's lifted, obviously. And yeah, I believe that's quite a place we'd like to perhaps come back, see if we can go in the church. I haven't let us in. I don't think it's. I think that's maybe something we do when we're not live. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't do a live like that. Um, but I'm miffed. I can't get that monument in. What monument? Oh, the cenotaph at the back. It's there. It's right in the background. I think it gets whitewashed by the sky. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, in a field, a couple of fields away. I mean, it looks huge from here, but I don't think it translates very well. Oh, that's coming. another good question, Michael. Um, is, is there any ley lines here? We didn't look. I, I do minimal research. If Usually, if I'm with a, a team that has a technical team and a research research team or they do the research um i tend to do that sorry i'm just going in some um just in the port not in the church I don't know, <laughs> okay. as a wicker and a pagan if i go through the doors i'll burst into flames um no no i don't think so either um, it's only if they splash with holy water it's a problem <laughs> but yeah i uh, I know very little about this place. That what I've told you um, about the family link is all I know, and I don't intend to actually do any further research. I'm kind of hoping that information falls out of my head again. So if I come back again, everything feels new. Mm. If that makes sense, it's just a weird part of my process that the, no, the, it least, makes sense. I, the least I know, the better because I don't want any information that comes through to be tainted. Um, and it can be tainted by prior knowledge and specific facts and things like that. So I, I don't tend to do that. But I, I feel very honoured that I got a connection. And like I say, in uh, graveyards and cemeteries, you don't very often uh, pick much up because this is where... Um, the shelves, shelves of our body are buried um, and not generally where the spirit resides. I think specifically because they are linked to the house that physically adjoins the graveyard. Um, right. There's just a, a single gate, um, which is where I was led to, um, that separates the two. I think that's perhaps why my connection was good, even though it was um, tenuous, I think, because of the age of the people that I was connected with. I'm, I'm trying to use the K2. I forgot All it was right. in my pocket, and I thought, I'll bring it just to see what was going on. But every time I turn it on, it's getting a feed from my phone. As soon as the phone yeah, goes anywhere prop near it. Angle, prop it at an angle so that you can see it from a distance, the lights. There's, there's no point me looking at that because I'm blind as a bat and I haven't bought okay. my glasses. We'll pop, we'll pop so that's it there and see. Shall I 
going to see if I can find older graves in 1309. Not sure I will. Fair enough. I just want to see if this K2 meter goes off. Can you hear the birds? I think it was only going off his mod. The phone was so close to it. That's the problem with these things. They're a bit, they're a bit uber sensitive. Right. Well, pick up if there's ley lines as well. That might set it off because it's mm. magnetic. Oh, that's a really loud bird, and it's echoing through your phone into my ear and back again. <laughs> right, guys, we're gonna let's wrap this up. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. Um, if the weather's nice next week, we'll probably do something similar again. Go out. So if you know somewhere that would be worth a bit of a look. I mean, what's Penny doing with her finger? What's going on there? I was trying to turn it down because I'm trying to walk away from you and you're walking towards me. I've got exactly your voice. Chasing her. <laughs> it's really right. annoying. <laughs> Right then, let's wrap this up. Like I said, we hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Um, for those that want to, come and join me on Wednesday um, for the YouTube debut. Um, Fan that, join us next Sunday for the Wiccan Warriors Sunday share. And uh, I don't know, I don't know where we'll go. Suggestions would be welcome in the comments. We're in Northamptonshire, so if there's somewhere you think, oh yeah, I'd like to see that or get your my ideas on that and Penny's ideas on it, then. Let us know if you know of a location. But failing that, we'll just scour through Google Maps and find some. Yeah. So, anything you want to say, Penny? Nah. It's a good night <laughs> from me. That's a good night from me.